So hey there folks, uh, I have another video today, um, it's about juggling your schedule. So I know a lot of people, they have an actual full-time job, um, they may work for several ESL companies, and you're just getting kind of mixed up like, what day am I working, um, you know, at, uh, you know, VIP Kid, uh, which day do I have classes with another company? Um, so this is what I use. It's a template from Google Sheets, which I will show you um, in a bit of how I created it. Um, but I'll bring it up closer here. So I, I do it by week. So right here I have the week of March 30th um, from Monday to Sunday. And I'm mirroring the VIP kit setup because they have the um, start of the week as a Monday and not a Sunday. So I have it laid out like that. I have the dates at the top. And then basically I will just list all the times here. So during the day we don't have VIP classes, but I listed it there just to kind of track if say I have any appointments or um, other commitments that I have that I want to note in here. And then um, all the way down to midnight pretty much. Um, so I have it color coded here. Um, this is my work schedule. Uh, I don't start at 5.30, but I just put the um, time starting at the top so I know which days I will be at home and which days I'm um, doing which duties. And then I have my first class, for example, tomorrow morning starting at 6. And I have it listed there, then I have another one at 8. So I have it highlighted in the purple. And it's scattered throughout the week as you can see. And I have a couple of classes, or three classes in the evening uh, near the end of the week. Um, so that's what I do. I basically have this sheet and I'll just update it from week to week. Um, I update it in Google Sheets as I mentioned and uh, let's just move over to the computer and I'll show you what I do to create the sheet. Okay, so we're at the computer. Uh, I've loaded it up already. I'm on Google Sheets um, at the very beginning where you start a new spreadsheet uh, right here. So I pretty much just grabbed um, I went to the template gallery actually. Uh, if you scroll down, you will see a whole bunch of templates for you know calendar, scheduling, traveling, um, anything you want. And I actually grabbed um, the schedule one and just modified it a little bit. So you just click on it and it'll bring it up. I'll just um, make it bigger here. So this is what the template looks like, daily schedule, and it's actually exactly as how you have it. Pretty much all you need to do is change the um, title here. So if you want it to be the week of March 30th, um, if you want to do it by um, you know two weeks at a time, you could put you know the the, the two weeks with a date range, and from week to week, all you need to do is just change. Um, the number here. So if I change it to 11, for example, you'll see that the dates here automatically change. It's already embedded in the template. So from week to week, all you need to do is update this um, cell here. So say I'll choose the 25th, it will update as well down here. So you don't need to manually go into each date and then change the numbers. Um, they start the template at 8 o'clock. I basically just inserted um, couple rows at the top just to get the um, time frames that I wanted to start uh, earlier than 8 o'clock. Um, here are some notes um, to do lists if you need to um, note anything in here you can put it down here I just noted the number of classes I have each week and uh, again it goes until 6 30 here so you just add um, insert one row below and just keep adding until you can get to say if you finish teaching at midnight just add it up until midnight and you can modify these cells here as to whichever times you teach um, and I will uh, add a sheet here if I want to add another week because I want to keep um, each week I don't want to overwrite it so from week to week I'll just select the whole entire sheet copy it, go to the next sheet, paste it in, and then I'll just update the new sheet uh, to the new week. So there you have it. I just update pretty much the um, dates here for the new week. Um, 
so it if you do if you select the whole page actually it'll paste the whole page so it'll keep adding um, you know the the template so what you want to do is you probably just want to select um, these cells by itself and then just copy and paste that so let's just add another sheet just to show you and there you have the um, just the one uh, template you don't want it to keep adding templates all the way to the end here so I hope that helps um, you guys in juggling your schedules. I know a lot of you guys have crazy schedules, so hopefully this will kind of keep it in line for you. If you found this uh, video useful, please give it a like and consider subscribing for similar videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!